As you work on the internet, you're going to have to create usernames and passwords for lots of different secure websites. As time goes on, I have more and more accounts requiring usernames and passwords on the internet. Passwords are important because they keep other people out of my accounts, but remembering a lot of passwords and typing them in every time I visit a website can be tough. So to help with this, Safari has a great tool built in for saving passwords for you. I'm gonna open up Safari here, and I'm gonna to go to a website that I go to all the time where I'll have to type in a username and a password. Here I am at gmail.com. I'm gonna hit sign in, and this should look pretty familiar to you. Anytime you need to log into a secure website, you need your name and password. So I've typed in my password, and I'm gonna hit sign in. And now I see this window. It's asking me whether I want Safari to save my password. If I allow Safari to save my password, I don't have to type it in the next time. Safari will remember it for me. So I've got three options. I can say not now, which will let me decide on this later. The next time I log in, I'll get this question again. I can hit never for this website, which means I don't want it to remember my password and I never want it to ask me again. But in this case, I'm gonna hit save password. I do want it to remember my password. So when I'm done using my Gmail account, I'm gonna sign out. And now I can see my password is automatically filled in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quit Safari and I'm going to open Safari again and go back to Gmail as if it were the first time. And you can see it already has my username and my password filled in and all I need to do is hit sign in and I'm in business. I didn't have to type my password. Let's look at another website. I'll go to amazon.com. And as you're browsing through Amazon, you've got this option here where you can look through different information about your account. I'm gonna to go to my wish list here on Amazon. Now, before I can access my wish list, I'm gonna to have to type in my name and password. Press sign in and I get that question again. And once again, I'm going to hit save password. So now I've logged in and I'm looking at my Amazon wish list. Now, just like with my Gmail account, the next time I come back to Amazon, I won't have to type in my password because I've asked it to save it. Now, I wanna take a look at preferences in Safari. So I'm gonna to go to the Safari application menu and I'm gonna go into preferences. Now, of course, there's several tabs here in preferences, but I wanna look at passwords. And now I can see a list of all of the passwords that Safari is saving for me. I can see my usernames and I can see the passwords. Now I can't actually see the passwords, it's just gonna be these blank dots covering the passwords. If I wanted to actually see what those passwords were, I can hit this checkbox that says, show passwords for selected websites. Now I'm not gonna hit that box now because frankly, I don't want you to see my passwords, but on your computer, you can always hit this and you can see your passwords there. If you decide you don't want Safari to remember a password that it has saved, you can always select it and you can hit remove right here. And now that has been removed from the list. Or if you want them all gone, you can just hit remove all. It's gonna ask for confirmation. I'm gonna say, yes, I want to remove all. And now all of my passwords have been removed. So if I quit Safari and go back into Safari, if I go to gmail.com, you can see it still remembers me from the last time I logged in. So I'm going to sign out. I'm gonna quit Safari again. This time, when I go to gmail.com, it's not going to remember my password. It remembers my username, but it does not remember my password. I'll go to amazon.com, and I'm still logged in here, so I'm going to sign out. And again, I'll quit Safari, load it up again, go to Amazon. And when I go to sign in, by accessing one of the items on my account list, you can see that it does not remember my password. And that's of course because I went into Safari preferences and I erased them from this list. And of course, if I log in here, again, it will ask me if I wanted to save the password. I'll say, yes, save the password. And over here in the system preferences, if I jump back and jump back into the passwords tab, you'll see it now has that new password saved. So now anytime I go to log into Amazon, I won't have to type in the password, it'll already be there. So if I hit sign out, 
you'll see it automatically fills in my username and password. It can be very helpful to have Safari remember your passwords so you don't have to type them in every time. But I think it's equally important that you're able to remember your passwords because you can't always depend on Safari to remember them for you. So please set up a system where you can still keep track of your passwords and remember all of your passwords. Also, it's important to note that iCloud has a service that will let you synchronize your saved passwords across multiple computers and iOS devices. So if you have Safari remember your password on one computer and then you go to another computer or your iPhone, it'll already be saved in Safari. To see more about that, be sure to check out iCloud Essential Training.